Welcome back everybody to another Glios toy review. Today we've got the brand new drop from Spaced Out Design. They gave us a brand new character to the Glios universe with the Belgarians. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But these guys look absolutely stellar. I can't wait to get my hands on them and check them out, see what kind of cool things we can combine with each of the two different figures that we got from this drop. I know a lot of you got yours in and you've been getting real creative with all these different kinds of builds you can do with these guys. They've been looking incredible. So let's not waste any time. Let's go jump into the package and check these new figures out. But before we do, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you enjoy these Glios reviews. Thank you. Let's go. All right, we got our package here. I'm going to try to pronounce these correctly. If I don't, please forgive me. Valgarians, Valgarian guys, the brand new figures to the Glios universe. Now let's pull them out, check them out. I'm very excited for these guys. They look like they're going to be a ton of fun. Oh, 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 let's go. New stuff. Stickers? Oh yeah, of the new figures themselves. These are fire, two different types of holographicness. Let's get it. That looks sick. I love the artists that they choose for these. They look incredible. I love that. A great little addition to throw in the package. Just give us some stickers. Everybody's happy. It's so nice. I was just looking at my receipt to make sure I'm kind of saying this right. Valgarian Standard and Valgarian Flora Fuse. Flora Fuse. Oh, I cannot wait to take a look at the Flora Fuse. Uh, maybe we'll start with the Flora Fuse. You know what, we're gonna start with the Flora Fuse. Let's do it, let's start with green. We've had a lot of green recently, so why not? Why not? Let's check the Flora Fuse Valgadians out. Oh yeah, dude, I cannot wait to like check out their little weapons thing. They've got these like really cool ax things going on, but let's just take a gander at the figures themselves. Look at you, looking all beautiful and oozy and green. Oh yeah, a little veggie mite action going on. So we've got a couple little nodules in the arm here going on. We've got one turner for the fist. We got a little like bicep muscle and then the shoulder here on the rotation for that. Not bad, not bad. Easily customizable to give some more dexterity to your figure. We've got our foot, our ankle piece, no knee joint or anything. We've got like just the piece connected to the hips, the thighs going into the calf muscles and they look slick. They have, they give a very classic feel like classic glios feel where it's just very simple elegant unique it's got a little bit of texture a little bit of like niceness to it to really give it its own flair and character but nothing too crazy nothing you know super advanced like some of the new stuff we've seen from zol beast and the zolian the zoloids and things like that or the cthuloid stuff um, this has a very, very classic vibe to it. I am about it. It's very nice. It's like this weird blend of a bunch of different things. We've got the flair of spaced out design, Geodraxis Nature's going on here, and we've got some Faden properties going on in the face, which is very cool. But then you flip around the face, we've got this like kind of very cool helmety sci-fi type thing visor going on very very nice on that look the body itself is given some kabuto mushi feels a little bit it's kind of this bulkier chest piece and we've got these more ball shaped shoulders shoulders yeah some ball shaped shoulders we've got the big old fist which compared to who who's comparable i forget the name of some of these old classic ones i don't know some of the some of the old ones very simple elegant fist design the classic look it's got this kind of like little arm gauntlet thing on the wrist joint part it's very nice i think that's going to pop a lot more in our like more colored version of these guys well let's check out the other detailed pieces now this one i am super thrilled about look at this head piece simply incredible simply incredible and this is a mask so you can actually pop that off and pop it on any other thing you really want it's such a cool creative piece and way to do this even this part is a head like visor piece and it's got like a little mohawk that also can pop off it's so freaking sick I love it. I love this so much. I am going to put this head on. I think my camera is super bouncy today. Holy crap. Hopefully that's not affecting this headpiece. looks super cool, super like tribal. And I don't know. It just, it's got this nice looking flair to it. Look at that. That is some incredible, incredible work that they got going on there at Spaced Out Design. And I love the creativeness of this little mask piece. It's so cool. It reminds me of Bionicle. It's very much like 
a Toa mask or something like that that you just pop on the figure. It's so unique in that sense. I'm really vibing with that. I really dig it. We do get this other like kind of little cap piece thing, just simple circle. And I believe this is part of, yeah. So we've got these two that kind of connect together to make well, a bunch of different things. You can make like an ax with it. You can give him a claw thing or something. I mean, these pieces, it's glass. So you can swip swap and do whatever you really want with them. But I'm pretty sure we can kind of take these and pop them into the arm like he's holding a weapon somehow. Might be a little tricky. I am never the best at putting these switch pins in. Let me tell you, these things, I my fat fingered self can never get these very well. <sighs> All right, you know what? We're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to the, the nice cool ax thing, but it is a very nice, very cool claw piece and it looks really sharp once put all together. But we're gonna do that in a second because I'm just really stoked to actually look at the main figure, the main dude himself. He looks really incredible. Let's pop him out and we can kind of show off some of the, the really cool swip swappy things going on here with these because I did get two of each of both of these. I had to, it's a new figure, you know, I had to. So you can see it a little bit better here on this ax piece. It's got these nice green flares and this nice, really, oh, they're always dropping pieces. This really nice brown. It's a really like foresty, woody kind of brown, but you can see all the different detailed aspects of it really popping out over the Uzarian type one, the Florazune or Florafuse, Florafuse. But look at this figure. Let's straighten them out here. And you can really take in the massive amount of detail going into this guy. I love all the little highlights of green popping on this dude. It looks absolutely incredible. You can see what I was talking about with the fist and the little armor going on here. The shoulder looks incredible with that little pop of color. I cannot wait to see what other colors I end up doing with these guys. The painteds are definitely the way to go for these. Uh, you just lose so much, I think, with just the translucent. And you guys know, if, you're, if you've been watching the channel, you know I am a sucker for the translucent stuff. And I still really like this guy, but you're missing out on so much of these nice color separations on this figure over the translucent. So, you know, you gotta make your choice. Uh, but I, I think I would, I'll always pick up a translucent, but I think I would probably pick up double of the painteds over just a regular translucent in the future, just because that color separation is so, so clean on these guys. Let's flip around this. We'll take a look at the visor version of that. And then of course, put on our little tribal man one here. Yeah, look at that. Look at how cool that is. I absolutely love the look of that mask. And again, you can just pop and peel that mask right off. You got this kind of weird, interjected headpiece here it's just a hole in his head you have got this side kind of like a little coconut head visor side or something but the hair is removable i'm not going to remove it right now because yeah it's just i'm not going to do it but look at that we got the mask here and it plugs in so easily so nice really really sharp really really easy no difficulty with that at all and i love that gotta have, love some ease of use with swapping parts for glass because sometimes you don't get it and we do have our little cap piece here too it's got that green little highlight on it over just the, the green. So that's another little extra piece you get. You do get a couple switch pins uh, used to hopefully kind of set up how the ax is supposed to be. But I'm going to put this together here a little bit. I got to try. Okay, there we go. Now we got the ax feature going. So you just put those switch pins in on this side and this side and you plug them into the fist. And now you got this crazy looking ax thing going on. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Very tribal. In fact, how much rotation do we get on all these? Are there two pieces or one? All right, looks like just a piece here and then a piece here. All right, so you got this little L-shaped piece and then like kind of the ax piece. Really, really cool. I ended up flipping this. This was on this side. I ended up putting the blunter, thicker side on the bottom. So you can flip it however you see fit. I kind of thought that might look a little bit better, but that's kind of the look of the ax. It's really, really neat. I've been seeing some really sharp combos too. You can switch up other things with the ax too. I mean, there's lots of builds you can do with these. There we go. We got the other one on the little Flora Fuse version. Nice little ax. You can see I did it the opposite way this time. So you can kind of compare to see uh, which one you prefer, blunt end up or blunt end down. Either way, still a really cool looking ax. So now really quickly, I am gonna try to fuse these two together. There's a really cool look you can get when you combine them. So let's do that really quick and see what we can come up with. Okay, now check this out. Look at this whip swap mishmash going on here. So just took the other two figures and, you know, 
put all the places in between all the other pieces and just get this really cool looking effect. Uh, tell me which one below you think looks better. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one just because the detail on the face looks really cool. Here's another little thing you can do with the arms. Give them some little claw arms, flip them around, do whatever you want with that. I think that looks pretty sick as more of this unique like arm weapon thing going on instead of just like an holding an axe. You can kind of just mix and match and do whatever with that side of it. He looks pretty sick though. I love the look of both of them. We also did kind of the same thing on this one too. We gave him a little berserker looking arm thing going on here. Super long, super hefty in the forearm muscle. He's, he's been, you know, just doing his lifts like crazy on this guy. And there's just so many other things that you can kind of flip flop around. Uh, they're just so cool. In fact, I think, let me see if I can do it with this one here, this headpiece. So I just took off the main like mohawk -y thing from the top of this head and we can kind of replace it with other things basically. Let's give him a weird like eye head thing maybe. We'll place that in there. So now he can just be looking like that or something. Boink, put that in. We'll throw this back on. I don't know, you can put whatever you want in there. You could even put one of these axe heads in that and make like an even bigger mohawk or something like that. That might look really cool. But there's another look at them all one more time. These were absolutely incredible to get my hands on. I'm super thrilled with the look of these. They look really, really unique. Very, very cool. Uh, Spaced Out Design, you did an excellent job. 10 out of 10 for getting a new figure into the Glios first. Super awesome. Now, unfortunately, uh, I do regret to say that I'm pretty sure all of these have been sold out. So congratulations to Spaced Out Design on selling out of these figures. Uh, it was very popular. People seem to really enjoy these guys. Lots of really cool creative stuff happening with builds all around the interwebs. So what I'll say is go file Spaced Out Design. Make sure you're checking out their website uh, and look for more from them soon. I'm sure with the success of this drop, they're gonna be doing more of these guys in the future. So definitely don't miss out on it next time. Go follow them on Instagram and support them any way you can. And go check out some of their Geodraxis stuff that is in the store still available. So either way, check out the store and go support them if you can. I really enjoyed this one though. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review of these guys. And if you want to see more builds from these dudes possibly in the future, let me know in the comments below. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more Glios content coming your way very soon. We've also got some Crazy Bone content coming up in the near future here too. You're not going to want to miss those if you're a Crazy Bone fan. Let me know what you guys thought about this drop and which one of the two versions was your favorite one to get your hands on and see. Have yourselves a great rest of the week and we will catch you guys in the next video.